I graduated 28 years ago. When I graduated, the world was very, very different. We didn't have internet. We didn't have this. We didn't have Amazon. Okay, our world was totally different. Right? I had to go, you know, uh, in a bus every day to drop my CVs off in different companies to see if I could get a job. Right? You had two choices: either you go to work or you go and study. Now obviously, you know, in my case, uh, we couldn't afford to study more, so I said, okay, I have to work. So that is how we started. And also the kind of work which we had to do in those days, you know, I graduated in computer science, so it was very, very limited. We had a few companies which could do that, and you know, it was not really the kind of work which a lot of us wanted to do. Today, if you see, when you graduate out and come over, you have a plethora of choices. You have, if you want to do on the fourth generation aircraft, if you want to build, uh, you know, fighter aircraft, today we have Tejas, which is being built in our country. You want to build rockets, today you have startups building rockets. Ordinary sense of learning is from the nature. As a first breath, we are in the safe hands of mother. First the few months, we are connected only to mother, nothing else. Mother is connected to the child only. It is a totally of their own world, the mother, the child, and child and the mother. And further, as we grow, just extend to the family, it will identify the father or a brother or a mother kind of within the home of environment. We learn a lot of things. As we grow further, go out of the house, you will see the wonders. So many neighbors, so many people have been around and the society. As we spend much and much, there is a lot of scope for the learning and finally of the deep learning. And finally we talk about the ordinary sense of learning. We share our moments and also we learn from the lot from mother, home, neighbors and finally the society. And later on, when we cross five or six years of age, we jump into school. Till then, mother was the supreme. Whatever she expressed and told, it was correct, true and accepted without argument. When you jump into the school, the, there will be a dramatical change in that occurs. The teachers, whatever she says, that is right, not the mother. Child start arguing with the mother. Say it is a power of learning. Every moment you agree with your teacher at the classroom, then at home your mother. Then finally you will come to this stage. At the level of the graduates, you will see that you may feel nothing to learn more. End of your academic life. But actually, it's the beautiful beginning of your professional life. The uh, responsibility. The first thing, you should be responsible in all your actions as well as work. And if you are going to be responsible in your uh, professional and uh, as well as personal life, then definitely you are going to get all the respect. That's the second R. And the reward. The reward the Almighty going to give is actually priceless. That is not only in terms of money or asset, it is uh, in terms of uh, peace of mind.
so i wish all the best for all the graduates here today so uh, i pray the almighty to give all the strength and confidence to you so that you can achieve all the success in your life 10 years back i was just seeing when the principal of uh, the badge of technology was reading the graduation uh, i mean the speech of welcome speech i was just thinking it would have been the fifth batch graduating from barrys dean of health sciences then if barry sir had uh, when i was a syndicate member i requested to do the college is starting but now anyways now we are proud that uh, dho the number one uh, citizen of uh, healthcare in mangalore from the district kishore sir has launched the lo uh, logo and barry sir already we have come through uh, the barry college uh, institute of pharmacy the inspection is done 2023 you are going to start the pharmacy institute followed by nursing followed by physiotherapy allied sciences inshallah by 2030 and kodi in kundapur which is under the new era of called rajiv gandhi new sabel sciences which is under the leadership of our vice chancellor mk ramesh i wish the barrys institute from bi to to bids to come into bihs now so a new logo should be added as bihs now it's a proud moment for our constituency too to start the institution graduation day is always been a, a sense of celebration and separation we are celebrate today because you have completed your four years and uh, we feel separated because we are you are going to miss you all you are such a wonderful student you are such an a wonderful student god has blessed us abundantly in every way our students our faculty this beautiful location and all those who help us in reaching where we are today nothing but sheer his grace friends you are being told what you need to do in your life once you step out from this campus i am not qualified to say what they have said because as you all know i am a school dropout however i have my 50 long years of practical experience wherever you are however you are always stick on to the truthfulness come what may never say lie always be truthful that is the first thing number 2 be trustworthy any work is been given to you any assignment is been offered to you or whatever the work you are doing think that i am a custodian of that trust i will never you know damage that reputation of that trust and i request you to be sympathetic you know you need to be passion passionate you need to have a self urge to grow and that growth should not be for our our uh, you know well being and our prosperity now i'll come to just three words that makes all the difference in life what is most important is just three word which is a urdu word very easy to remember okay everything start with niyat what is niyat niyat is intention niyat is intention the result of our action is based on our intention that is where the purity of heart coming to play our heart should be always pure and clean it doesn't mean that you cannot have a vengeance it is a human nature we will have a vengeance we will have uh, you know all that aspect which is but natural but that vengeance should be up to the point of going to the bed the purity of heart what is been you know embedded there in our main building it is not just a, a slogan purity of heart when you have then god will give clarity of mind and clarity of mind is so important today in the in the, in the real life when you enter it is all called application of mind whatever you do there has to be an application of mind and application of mind doesn't cost any money